Hello, today I'm going to show you how to download and install uh, a really nice Microsoft tool called the Malicious uh, Software Removal Tool. Uh, so I'll post a link in the description where you can uh, go and download this directly and it's straight from Microsoft. So let's go get it. Okay, so here we go. We go to the link. Uh, you know, they usually uh, shorten the name down to MSRT, but it is the malicious software removal tool. Now, my system, it's automatically detected as Windows 7 64-bit. Uh, if that's not what you have, you can click here and you can say, you can change it to the other, which is malicious software removal tool and go next, right? Um, but it's up to you. Okay, see there, it goes to Windows 7 32-bit and more. So I'm going to change it back to what I had what it recommends here and uh, be aware that this tool is uh, updated on a regular basis let's see I'll show you the uh, details here if you click the details uh, there's all the details on it I believe it's updated about once a week so you know if you're going to use this tool make sure that you download a fresh copy of it every time you go to use it now this tool is used to remove uh, malicious spyware like uh, let's see if they have a list here I think they do uh, no it's, here it is blaster sasser my doom etc so if you think you're infected I would say this is step one run this tool and you know do a full scan of your machine and find out what uh, basically what it has so I'm gonna click on download and there it is right there it's fairly quick it's not a really big tool it's 20 megabytes so um, okay so I've had have it downloaded next I'm gonna install it my user account controls come up you probably can't see that on your screen but it says do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer you say yes and boom there's a malicious software uh, removal tool. So here's how crazy I am. Just to show you how this works, I'm going to infect my computer with one of those uh, malware uh, programs. I'm going to use the MyDoom uh, worm. Just going to extract it onto my downloads directory. Hit OK. And uh, all right. Now, in order to do that, I had to turn off my virus checker right here. Uh, as you can see, it says warning, your system is unsecured because my Avast uh, antivirus software, which is free, I'll, uh, I have a link for how to install that and it's free. And once you register it with, for free, which requires your your pass, your, sorry, your uh, e email and your name, uh, it's it will update itself and run um, scans for a year. Uh, I have a video for that, so I'll just post a link for that as well. Uh, but I had to disable it in order to get that worm to uh, extract onto my hard drive. Otherwise, it would have caught it and, and not let me do it. So here's a malicious software uh, removal tool again. We're going to go next on that. And you got quick scan, you got full scan or customized scan. Well, I'm going to do a full scan because I believe that's what you need to do to make sure that every file in your machine is free. And... Uh, I mean, you could do a. I could have could do a customized scan and just scan the folder where I put the the uh, um, a Trojan into. But I'm going to do a full scan to show you what it's like, and uh, it will find it anyway. So okay, click next. Now this is going to take a while because I got like 146,000 files on my uh, computer. So I'm going to pause it right now and uh, come back to it when it's done and show you that it worked. Okay, it's been about two or three hours. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's how long it took to scan every file on my laptop. Uh, you can expect this to be a, a lengthy process. Um, let's go look at the view, view, the detailed results of the scan right here. And as you can see, it found the uh, uh, Trojan I put into the machine, the Win32 MyDoom, and it says removed. And if you look through the list, you'll see that it, you know, the dozens and dozens of infections that it looks for 
but it did not find okay so basically this would be the first tool I would I would run in a suite of anti-spyware antivirus anti-malware software um, I would also make sure that I had a vast uh, antivirus installed in the machine anyway so more than likely I wouldn't get this because it saw it right away when I tried to download it okay so that's my um, wrap up on the Microsoft Windows malicious software removal tool or MSRT thanks for watching